Last time I played that, I played multiple times. This entire northeastern blue zone was under siege from Nod. GDI forces were overwhelmed. Their command center was about to fall, and the free world was literally hanging in the balance. But one brave battle commander led a string of victories in DC Me. that seemed to inspire yet more GDI victories all across the globe. <laughs> it's heartening to know that GDI has really come out swinging. Yeah, it's very heartening. We're putting up one hell of a fight out there. But William, I disagree with your assessment that the outcome of this war is still in doubt. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that GDI will prevail. We will have the will, the resources, and most importantly, support of the people. The public wants payback, an eye for an eye, and that's exactly what we're going to get. The question then seems to be, can you deliver on this promise? Several conflict analysts are citing your lack of wartime experience as a cause for concern. I believe in my generals and commanders. They are the best of the best. And I believe they deserve not only the trust of myself and my administration, but the trust of the people. Because that is who we are fighting for, who we are fighting to protect. Undermining that critical bond of trust between a people and their protectors is, I believe, a mistake. Oh. Commander, no matter what you've seen on the news, you mark my words, this war is far from over. We've still got a number of blue zones up for grabs that could go either way, but that's not what's bothering me. Come here. InOps has been interrogating some not POWs, and they've come across a couple spotting similar threats here. Have a look. This is only the beginning. Fire will fall from the skies. The bees will wish your bodies and your souls will cry for forgiveness. Unleash his fury! It could be typical nod rhetoric, but it sounds to me like they're getting ready to use WMDs. That's why I'm sending you to North Africa. If Nod's got the goods, that's where you'll find them. Hopefully a preemptive strike will nip this nightmare in the butt. Oh, and Commander. Let's keep this one off the radar. The public's already scared enough. Sanders busy putting all the pieces together. You can get all That'll be all. Commander, the situation in North Africa is still very fluid. Egypt is the primary target here. We just learned an irrigation plant just outside of Kasabad is a front for a Nod chemical weapons factory. Obviously, we need to shut this down. To the north is the port of Alexandria, where Nod is distributing their weapons to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, it gets worse. We believe that Nod is assembling nuclear weapons in an underground facility in northern Cairo, which may explain why the area is so heavily defended. Anyway, the first step in cleaning up this sector is to take out that chemical weapons factory in Kasabad. This mission's actually kind of fun. This is where you get uh, zone troopers, I'm pretty sure. some stuff on my screen. Microfiber cloth, anti-static gel. Perfect for a very expensive 400 or 144 hertz monitor. I'm not sure what happened. I raid the suspected Nod chemical weapon factory in Kosovo. I'm not sure what happened. I lost contact with the zone troopers you were supposed to rendezvous with at the chemical weapons factory. 
They said they found something, but then I heard shots and the feed cut out. You need to get in there, Commander, see what happened, then take out that damn factory. Make sure we got everything done here. Yep. Sure and up flight and irrigation plant in Kasabad is a possible chemical weapons factory. A GDI forward base was established nearby in preparation for a raid, but so we since lost contact with the base, we also lost contact with the team of his own troopers sent to investigate. Get in there, secure the base, and then find out what's going on in that factory. Keep your weapon ready. Transmission. The last communication point. This way, rifle squad. is not a chemical weapons plant after all. They're doing something with Tiberium. Take out that facility and see what intel you can uncover. This facility appears to be manufacturing Tiberium. Incoming transmission. Intel indicates that Nod has... Training. 
Construction options. Training. Troopers in the field. Insufficient funds. Got it. Enemy Let's base sighted. On hold. Cancel. Let's work to we must get to work. Unit under I'll attack. I'll show myself. Building captured. Let's get over there. Let's work together. Building captured. I know the way. Mission's pretty straightforward. Not much to take over. I don't know what that did. Did that give me money or what? Regardless, waiting on the engineer to cross the map. He's gonna go grab that. I think I need to destroy the not outpost, so I need to sell that. And then I'm gonna have to sell those to win. What I wonder is if I can take over the Tiberium facility. That's a big fat nope. Yes, of course.
That is what she's from, isn't it? Yeah, she is in that. Okay. I was gonna say, I can't remember what else she's from. But that is exactly where she's from. Sometimes you just don't need They're not up to anything anymore. Liquid Tiberium Research. Such a cool look. Advanced Not Tiberium Weapon Research Program was recently uncovered when GDI Strike team in North Africa stormed an odd facility originally thought to be a chemical weapons factory. Science division evaluations of the wreckage subsequently confirmed several large-scale Tiberium weaponization efforts underway. Of most concern is in, uh, to announce as evidence of significant progress towards creation of a liquid Tiberium device of unprecedented destructive power. The liquid form of Tiberium is a relatively new manifesta manifestation of the alien substance and its properties are not well known. Nod's liquid Tiberium research appears to be five to ten years ahead of science division. There are also indications that Nod is working on a conventional, a more conventional airborne Tiberium explosive and a catalyst for detonating existing Tiberium crystal deposits in a subcritical reaction. Analysis of past R Nod R&D efforts, which tend to be redundant and decentralized in nature, Suggests the Nod Lab in North Africa was only one of several facilities participating in the Tiberium weaponization efforts. Such a cool image of the red zones. Totally uninhabited. A large swath of our surface have been designated as red zones, areas that are desolate, swept by storms, and contaminated by vast amounts of Tiberium. Venturing into, over, or even near these wastelands can be extremely dangerous. Beyond the red zones, Tiberian contamination has caused varying levels of environmental damage in another 50% of the Earth's populated areas. In the ecologically compromised and war-torn yellow zones, Tiberian fields are common, growing in the middle of cities, on farmlands, and throughout the environment. Tiberium-related climate change has caused an endless cycle of droughts, floods, and severe weather of all types, including spectacular Category 6 hurricanes, Tornadoes with wind speeds up to 500 miles per hour and exceedingly violent thunderstorms, especially destructive ion storms, occasionally rage out of the red zones to wreak havoc on cities and towns in the borderlands. Only 20% of the Earth's surface is in relatively pristine condition. Blue zones suffer from minimal Tiberian infestation and have been relatively untouched by war. The population of the Blue Zones live in relative comfort, going about their lives in high-tech futuristic cities and sit in forested valleys or nestle in pastoral farmland. I've had it in there, Bill, like at the bar brewery, but I don't know that I've ever bought it outside the brewery, so I wouldn't know exactly what it's like. Mm. 